Hey crafters, Shirley Pando here for Everyday Moodlings and the project inspiration this week is Watermark Ink. I have Versamark Ink that is made by Second Echo, Imagine Crafts. There are some other companies that have a Watermark Ink, but they all work the same. So let's take a look and see what this ink is all about. Watermark Ink is a oil base ink. You'll notice the pad. It's on a foam pad and it's rather sticky. But the beauty of this and why it's called Watermark is when you press a stamp to your pad and you stamp on your paper, you get a very nice watercolor effect. Now that is a super crisp image and I don't even have to heat set this although it is wet for just a little while you could heat set it as it dries it gets even darker so that would be really nice on a card to create a background for a card. So I'm going to use a background stamp this one's got a, lot, a nice flourish all over the stamp so I'm just going to press this right on there and put it onto our dark cardstock. So that gives us a really great watermark image. And you'll see how detailed that is. It's a, it's a darker cardstock, but if you'll see that the stamp that has more surface area to pick up the ink does a lot better than the very detailed stamp. So that's a good thing to note. So what I've decided upon is the hexagon, their little chipboard pieces. I've sliced this little label that's going to be attached right on the chipboard pieces. And then my sentiment of sorts is me and you. And I added this, it's really a frame. I just added that so it kind of looks like a crown And uh, when I put pop tops it'll make sure that that's something that you'll be able to see. And I think I'm going to put this, this is a coral, behind it. So that'll go behind it, and then I'll have that. So I just need to attach it all. technique we're just going to take a stamp and add our watermark on top and because it's sticky and it stays wet for a while we're going to be able to use it like a pigment ink which is really what it is so I'm going to add a few rows of this on my paper here
So now our embossed area is going to act like a resist if we put anything else on top of it. I'm just going to grab my a darker distress ink, it's a dye ink, and I'm just going to just swipe it on top. You can use a brayer to do this, but I'm just lazy and don't want to get it out. So by starting with a green cardstock underneath to begin with, it, it gives me that resisted area from the stamp and I can see all the little imperfections too where, where the stamp didn't emboss as well as it could have, but I kind of like that, all the little imperfections. And now when we wipe off the ink. This is the ink that was just resting on top of the embossed area. It doesn't stick to that embossed area. Now what we get is a really clean light green area because of our paper that was underneath and then our colored portion over top. So I just trimmed my paper and I thought, what am I going to make with this? Well, it'd be a really good background for a card, so I sliced it in half. Then I was going through my stash of stuff that I've accumulated forever and I found a sticker that was from a, a class that I had taken from, I think it was CKU back in 2006 from Allie Edwards. So that matches. Then I found some of these stickers that are, it's a basic gray. It's from the line Boxer, which if you know anything about basic gray, that's old. That's old. So I said, oh, I got some basic gray papers. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to make a card with this and one of my papers. I think I'm going to use that. It might not look that great on camera, but the greens are uh, pretty much the same. So I want to use one of the big stickers as my focal point. And I think these are too busy. Yep, yeah, I'll use that one. So this and this, and either one of these chipboard stickers or one of these stickers here. That might be cool too. So let's see where we go. So as I'm playing with Versamark, I was wondering, I wonder if we could do anything incredible with a, an embossing folder. So let's try. I thought, what if we took the portion of the embossing folder, for this cuddle bug it's the top, that has the raised portion of the image, what if we use that like a stamp? So I'm going to actually press this onto my embossing folder. Let me put a magazine down so that I can get a good stamping surface here. And I'm going to press that right into my paper.
Now while this is wet, and I'm hoping it's working, why don't I use some chalks? Now I don't remember the last time I used chalks. I've got some from Stampin' Up! that I bought, ooh, many, many years ago. So let's just see what we can do with chalks. And I'm going to use a paintbrush and I'm just going to swirl around and see what we can pick up. For my card, I've got it on a card base. I've got our panel that we made with Versamark and chalks. If you want to make sure that this, uh, the chalks don't shift or rub off anywhere, you can give it a light spray with some hairspray or some fixative. I've got a velvet ribbon, and then this is just a sticker uh, on multiple pieces of cardstock, and then with some pop dots. Then I've got some little stick pins that I'm actually going to stick behind my sentiment and I'm going to actually stick it into the foam dots. 